Hello, I'm Philip Brunel, Artistic Director and Founder of Vocal Essence and Organist Choir Master at Plymouth Congregational Church in Minneapolis. And for these everyday occurrences, I am grateful to my son, Tim Brunel, as my videographer. Today, it's the music of Richard Rodney Bennett who became knighted, and so then it was Sir Richard Rodney Bennett, an amazing composer with lots of music of different styles, 200 works for the concert hall, 50 scores of works for film and TV, probably best known in terms of those films for his score for Murder on the Orient Express, and also for Nicholas and Alexandra. He was also a performer of jazz songs for 50 years. Uh, a wonderful, diverse man. I got to know his music uh, because of some early little choral pieces that I've just, well, they were wonderful to sing and wonderful to hear. But then it was uh, in 2002 that Vocal Essence commissioned him for a piece that would be for solo cello and chorus for the ensemble singers. And he composed a piece called A Farewell to Arms. We performed it at Central Lutheran Church in Minneapolis. And it's a fascinating piece. It's probably about 10 minutes long uh, of two poems. By, by authors living in England but didn't know each other. Ralph Knevitt, who was born in 1600, and George Peel, born in 1558. And what was amazing is that these are poems about it's time to end war. The beginning of Ralph Knevitt's poem says, The Helmet now an hive for bees becomes, and hilts of swords may serve for spiders' looms. And then George Peel, they didn't know each other, in his poem in the middle says, his helmet now shall make a hive for bees, and lover's sonnets turn to holy psalms. The ensemble singers performed this not only at the premiere, but also in Seoul, Korea for the World Choral Symposium. Here is just a part to get a sense of the beautiful style of music that could be composed and was by Richard Rodney Bennett.
I met Richard on a number of occasions because he lived for a number of years in New York City. And uh, he was a fascinating man because he had all these diverse interests in music. And he was also um, an artist. He painted collages. So you had the chance to go into his, his uh, suite and look at all of that as well. But I mentioned that uh, in addition to that, he'd written so much music early on for solo voice. And one of the pieces that we did at Vocal Essence, and we've also sung at Plymouth Church, was a set of carols that he had written early on. And that was where I first heard of him. He wrote a little carol on the words that come from the 14th century a little child, there is he born, and he sprang out of Jesse's thorn. It's a little piece for Advent time. And it explains to me the wonderful charm and joy about the music of Richard Rodney Bennett. Have a wonderful day.